top five fruits to eat if you're living in a cold climate this winter. These are the staples that have kept me going raw through the winters here in Canada for five plus years. It's the same staples every year. So here's what we got. Bananas. And these bananas, you can get them fresh and then you can let them ripen up really hardcore and then you can freeze them, put them in your fridge or just eat them right off the counter. Like room temperature. So frozen, refrigerated, and then just counter bananas. Try to get them organic, they're pretty cheap. Less than a buck a pound usually if you buy them bulk. Definitely buy yourself bulk, buy, buy everything by the case. You'll get a much better price that way. Um, and then if you have a dehydrator too, you can dehydrate your bananas. My favorite type of banana is like a half dehydrated banana. Just put the whole thing in the dehydrator as it is, you don't need to cut it in half or anything. Put the whole thing in, let it dehydrate like for, I'm not sure how many hours, experiment with it, maybe six to 12 hours, probably like six hours. And it turns into like a slug, like half dehydrated, really goopy inside, really, really good, especially when it's really warm. You take a banana out of the dehydrator and it's cold temperature outside and you eat a warm banana, it's, oh my God, it's as good as any cooked food you ever had. But it's raw, man. So, dehydrated warm bananas, those are amazing. And then if you have frozen bananas or bananas from the fridge, make sure you let them warm up to room temperature, or at least when you blend them up, make sure you add hot water so your smoothie is room temperature. You never wanna have cold food in the winter. This is so huge. I've had people tell me, they're like, Ted, I tried to do raw in the winter, but I just kept like shaking after every meal. And I was like, give me an example of a meal. They're like, oh, it was a smoothie. I was like, okay, what'd you put in the smoothie? They're like, well, I have frozen bananas and frozen berries and, and dates and water. I was like, man. Frozen, frozen, probably cold water too. You don't, you want to avoid cold food in the winter. The weather is cold enough. You don't need to be putting cold stuff in your body. If you do happen to put cold stuff in your body, make sure to then put hot water in your body as well. So if you're having banana ice cream or something in the winter and you're really cold, drink some tea. You're not going to warm up from the outside after you just put cold stuff on the inside. So drink hot water in the winter time for sure. Regardless of if you're having cold food or not. Just always be drinking warm water in the winter if you want to stay warm. Huge tip right there, huge tip. Warm water in the winter, even boiled water. Just drink it like tea. So bananas, that's the first staple food. The second staple food is dates, dried dates. So you buy them dry and then you rehydrate them. Soak them in the fridge full of water. Like take the box of dates and pour water in the box of dates and let it soak in your fridge for 24 to 48 hours plus. It can soak for weeks, it can soak for months. I had some soaked dates in my fridge and I left for the Europe this summer and I came back two months later and they're still soaking in the water there. The water had like turned to like syrup almost. It was just like concentrated date sweet paste. It was really cool. But dates rehydrated are the way to go. You don't want to be eating dates dried because when they dehydrate you, they get stuck to your teeth, they can cause cavities. So soak your dates, blend them up, drink them that way. Dates, dates, dates. A super high calorie food there. Dates and bananas, very high calorie food. The third staple food that you want to be consuming lots of in cold climates in the winter time would be avocados. And again, try to get organic. Try to get organic avocados. Organic dates, I haven't found them to be that important. Um, the dates are just so high up in the tree, I don't know really what they spray them with. But I've had organic dates, I've had non organic dates, I don't really know the difference. Uh, but organic avocados and organic bananas, those are very different than conventional. So, scope out some organic avocados and buy lots of them. Same deal there, you can put them in your fridge, you can have them on your counter, or you can have them frozen. If they're frozen, then when you thaw them out, make sure you use them in like a sauce or something like pasta sauce or salad sauce or salad dressing, however you want to call it. But avocados are an amazing staple. Super high fat though, so make sure you're not having more than five of them, five of them in a day. Um, six has been my upper limit, but realistically most people are gonna be having half an avocado to one avocado a day if they're eating raw vegan in the winter time. But yeah, you don't wanna be doing more than six a day, that's for sure. So the next staple food, I think I stepped in poop. Yeah, I did. Awesome. 
Dog's gotta go, our dog's gotta go. Next staple food is gonna be frozen berries. Frozen berries are great because they're nutrient packed, they taste delicious, and they can change up any smoothie or any bowl that you're making. Um, so I recommend frozen mixed berries, like the blackberries, the blueberries, and the raspberries. You can buy a pack of like mixed berries there. And then just frozen blueberries. Frozen blueberries are quite cheap. Like I said, nutrient packed. Um, hopefully you get organic as well. If it's not organic, man, it's just not gonna have the nutrient content. So make sure your berries are organic. They're gonna have way more nutrients if so. And the way to test if they're good berries, the way to test if any frozen fruit that you go to the store and buy is good, is to thaw it out and try to eat it in its thawed out version. Don't always like disguise the frozen food you buy within a, in a blender, in a smoothie. Take the frozen berries, let them thaw out, and eat a meal of them just like that. And if they taste great, then they're good berries. Keep buying more of them. But you can go to the store and you can buy like frozen pineapples and frozen mangoes and you come home and let them thaw out and you eat one. It's like, this is unright, man. Sure, you can hide it in a smoothie, but you don't want to be masking low vibe foods. You don't want to be masking unripe foods and putting those in your body and expecting to feel amazing. If you want to feel amazing, put amazing food in your body. When it comes to diet, anyway. There are other ways of feeling amazing besides just diet, but this video is focused on diet, so we'll keep it on track here, keep it on, on uh, topic. So frozen berries, that's another staple. And again, if you don't thaw them out and you just want to blend them up as they are in the frozen state, be sure to add warm or hot water to your smoothie to make sure you're not consuming cold food. All right? The fifth staple food that you want to be consuming lots of in the winter time, if you can get them, if you can get them, I've been able to get them every winter here in Canada, so hopefully you're able to get them too. That is persimmons. Persimmons, baby. Do what you can to get some persimmons and let them ripen up. Yes, you can eat them crunchy, but you can also eat a crunchy banana. And I know unripe or crunchy persimmons taste a hell of a lot better than an unripe banana or any unripe fruit. Persimmons take the gold medal for the best tasting unripe fruit. If there was a the best tasting unripe fruit award, it would go to persimmon. So yeah, you can eat them unripe, but you don't want to. You're not going to feel optimal. You're not going to feel amazing. They're not going to digest that well if they're unripe. They're going to digest so much better when they're in their goopy state. Let persimmons become goop. People are going to say, Ted, but there's two varieties of persimmons. One variety you can eat unripe, and the other variety you have to let goopy. True, there are two varieties, and true, you can eat one variety unripe, and you cannot eat the other variety unripe, because it'll mess you up. So, I'll post the names of those two type right here and I'll let you know what you can eat ripe and what you can eat not unripe. What you can eat unripe and what you can't eat unripe. But either way, let them both become super gooey, super ripe. Super ripe. And then once you have awesome persimmons, load up on them, buy bulk. Buy bulk, buy them by the case. They're quite cheap as well. They should be around a dollar a pound or less. And then, so now that you've got your bananas, your avocados, your dates, your persimmons, and your berries, you can make some awesome recipes with those foods. If you want a bunch of recipe ideas, check out the clean and simple recipe ebook that I put out there. It helps people stay raw in cold climates. It gives people a bunch of different recipe combos that they can make amazing sauces with and salad dressings with. The link is in the description for that. But just some basic ideas here for, for sauces that you can make. You can just blend up persimmons with your dates and some basil. Boom, dude, you got an amazing sauce right there. You pour that over top of some zucchini noodles. In fact, zucchinis can also really become a staple food in the winter time. The reason I didn't really want to add them to this list of staples is because there's no, really ca no real calories in zucchinis. All squashes really are super low in calories. Um, so although a zucchini is a fruit, it's super low in calories, but I would say it's almost a staple food because you're consuming so much volume from it if you're having a lot of noodle dishes every night. So that's, that's what I've been doing these past, uh, I mean, my first few winters in Canada. I haven't really spent my past winters in Canada. I've been in Hawaii or Thailand or somewhere warm. But if I was to spend another winter in Canada, I would be having a lot of noodles with a lot of amazing sauces. And like I said, if you want a bunch of ideas for sauces, get the recipe book below. Um, or just experiment for yourself and see what works for you. It's not hard to experiment. You just take a bunch of good tasting fruit, put in the blender and try some different combinations, try some different herbs, see what you get. All right, guys. I, uh, Hope you got something from this video. Those are five staple foods that you can be eating in the winter time if you're in a cold climate. 
If you like this video, you know what to do, man. Hit the red subscribe button and you get a lot more. Adios. Peace out.